On International Women's Day today, we wanted to share the story of a young Sudanese woman living in Denver. Tanya Saleh witnessed her home country of Sudan on the verge of an uprising. She had gone home for fun, but she came back to the States with fresh perspective. She's now working to share it with others through social media. Uh, my name is Tanya Zainab Saleh, and I live in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> so I kind of live this duality. Born in the U.S. and then raised here. I have a Sudanese passport and an American passport. Huh. So I went to Sudan Christmas Day, actually we flew out, and I was there for my cousin's wedding. Weddings last a week long. <laughs> it's a marathon. <laughs> it's so much fun. Like everyone really lets go, and they just get down. <laughs> People have a misconception of like who I am, where I come from. So I felt like this was a really good opportunity to just show them real life, what's going on. What I wasn't able to capture was um, more of what's happening with the civil uprising. So um, Sudan's going through a huge revolution right now. It started actually the two days before I got there. And it's really sad. The country's in just a state of disarray. Pray for Sudan. There were instances where I saw protests in the street. Gas is risen. Resources are just becoming limited. So now there's this shortage of bread in the country. And bread is huge to the culture. If you pulled your phone out, they would stop you, confiscate it, send you to jail, because they don't want anyone knowing about the oppression and how they're mistreating their people. The day we left, actually, the whole city was protesting. I never felt scared, necessarily. I felt more empowered to keep fighting and keep wanting to do something. Because I'm a singer and a musician, I decided to do a song about freedom. To be free. It was a really, really quick shoot. Like, you know, we had to get it done within minutes because we're out there with cameras and people were scared of getting caught. People are crying for help every day and no one can hear it. So I think being a voice and then also having a platform where people can visually see what's going on is necessary. So now the protesters, so they've tear gassed. Instagram has been really an amazing channel for this, which is wild. So this is the outline of Sudan. So I'm just calling out for anyone to send me anything they have. And the purpose is just to keep raising awareness because I realize a lot of my followers in the States have no idea what's going on. But what I want to accomplish with all of this is really just a call to action for anyone that has some political power or any humanitarian power to help my people in Sudan. They just want freedom, justice, and peace. We all want that for Sudan. Tanya's collaborating with Sudanese musicians around the world to create music for the movement. And she's hoping that music and the social media conversation will encourage people with influence to take some action to help the Sudanese people.